too. I had so many videos on this memory card, it shut off. Um, so let's go ahead and see if we can delete this. Make one partition. And if you can't, it's okay. It's just 14 gigs on this hard drive anyhow. Now I'll just pause this and when it's almost done, I'll turn it back on. On this one, it takes a while for it to get from zero to one. But once it does, it'll go a little bit faster. You probably best just to leave it and not watch it. Because this will reboot at least once before uh, it finishes. But let it finish completely or it may be a corrupt operating system installed. It's been about five minutes, say, and you can see how long it takes just to get to 25 percent. La dee dum da dum da dum, 66 percent. Now I just noticed something. It's it's going a little faster, but I also notice if you hear that the uh, fan kicked on. So these thinner laptops, sometimes if you hold your hand on the bottom of the laptop and you feel that heat, uh, the heat will actually absorb into your hand and it might uh, run a little quicker. Uh, in that case, uh, one of my other videos, I got the fan, USB fan system where they're about 15 bucks on eBay. You just plug it in and the cooling fan will keep uh, the bottom of these older laptops um, cooler so it'll always run faster. And the fans are very quiet so you can't, can't even hear them. Here's uh, my other laptop. I'll show you. Yeah, this right here. If I move this to the left, you can see the fan system is under there. One of them's not even moving, but you'll always I'll have to play around with the... Oh, there it goes. And then back here, we're at 93. So we'll just pause this and let it install the features coming up next. It installed the features, and there's that restarting. For some reason, it wants to run a check disk. That's fine. If you touch any key, it would skip it, but I'd rather just have the disk checked. There might be a reason for that. Now, one of the reasons I am formatting this and installing the operating system is because inside the machine now is a 64-bit. This is a 64-bit machine, and you can see this is an old CD for the 32-bit. I don't think you can see that, but that says 32-bit, and that's pretty pretty slow for today's, you know, surfing. Um, so we're going to go with the 64-bit. It's worth saving this laptop. Now, the reason... That might have happened was when I held the power button in, which is rare. Uh, I held the power button in for five seconds and crashed the hard drive just to get to the beginning without booting it up and shutting it off. Usually this doesn't happen, but it's an older hard drive, so that's what happened. Uh, so I'm just going to have to wait, wait through. Uh, if there's bad sectors, this will all be erased, and you'll still be able to use it. Um, and if it's real bad, you might hear a clicking or something and have to use another hard drive. But this will be good. Okay, let's see if it works out this time.
Yep, no disc check this time. I believe this one will say setting up first time, so we're just going to pause it again. So it's just boot up one one more time so far. We'll see if it boots up two or three times. No, we don't want to press that again, or it'll boot from the CD. So this should say the first time. Now Windows 7 has stopped the updates too, so you might want to start with uh, Net Framework once you do hook up to the internet. With the old Windows XP, it was Java and Adobe Flash Player, and you'd have to manually find those because they stopped their updates a long time ago. Yep, there it is. First use. Now we can check that uh, 802.11 um, USB Wi-Fi antenna thing that I got. And you'll see here, type your product key, click next. Now if you see an old tower or you do see that 25 digit uh, COA or OEM, or you can get it off the internet, just keep trying until you get one that works. And it does matter when you're looking for the serial number, the COA number, OEM. Uh, it'll have to say home premium or whatever version the CD you're putting in. Because the original hard drive's not in this anymore. Or you could just press the F8, F11 key. And here we are. So on the drivers, the sound... is already in there with uh, Windows 7. The first thing I'd want to do is go to Control Panel. Device Manager. There's all the drivers. So I can tell it doesn't have the wireless, it doesn't have the Ethernet, which is the reason I got that antenna thing. So, let's see. I just plugged it in. It comes up 802.11 and I see. Now, here's the driver for it. it took me a while to find it because, of course, my little CD didn't work. Um, the real tech. So, we open that up. Now, I'm in luck here because it says setup where I would have to go through this and look for the actual driver this may do it automatically that's called the firmware like uh, if you had a printer or a you were trying to hook up and you didn't have the CD okay it's not supporting the system so I might have to figure out something else let me try something here just click on driver well, it says 64, so let's see if I can lead it to that. That way would be 802.11. A bit slip there. Um, driver tab, update driver, uh, browse, got to try to do it manually. It 
So we're pretty much at the end here. I couldn't get to the de uh, desktop, so I opened up that folder with the drivers, and I dragged the folder out right here until I'm able to see something on the desktop, the user desktop. I'm trying that setup icon once more. I think it may work. If it did, it saved me a lot of time. Let's see if that thing blinks. That's probably why it didn't work, is because it was in a zip folder, so I had to take take the folder out. Now it seems to work. And there it is. I don't think we have to, yep, it's going to restart, be right back. So once again, we got the steady light. I doubt this is going to work, but I'm going to try Internet Explorer. But if it doesn't work, I already have a flash drive with some old versions of... You got Chrome... Chrome setup, you could try, or Firefox. Just keep going until one works. Yeah, see, this here is saying, yep, this is the Internet Explorer 8. Try MSN. Any any place we could get a search bar. Nope, that's not gonna work. Hold on. Okay, well you get the idea. This is a like a purple icon. I believe it's an older. You just keep trying until you get a browser to work. Then you can uh, go ahead and update it and get other browsers from that. And that'll be the uh, installing operating system, Windows 7, on an Acer laptop. Thanks.